Hello and welcome to another video on the channel and today I am going to be showing you how to complete the Libertadores and Sudamericana SBC segment for as cheap as possible but using your coins only. Now we've had a, quite a few people on all my socials say to me that the League 1 and Eredivisie 1 is not the problem here, it is now Libertadores and Sudamericana and that is why I'm going to be showing you that Libertadores and Sudamericana is probably just as hard as the League 1 and Eredivisie. Now, these are the same people that are saying that they're completing the League 1 and Eredivisie for about 13,000 coins. Now, let me tell you something, guys. 13,000 coins is not the price you want to be paying. You want to be paying less than 10,000 coins. And if you have been using my spreadsheet, then you would have been able to get it below 8,000 coins during these last couple of days. Facts. So for me personally, I'm thinking these people are saying that that is cheap, but then the Libertadores Sudamericana is, you know, the problem here. I'm saying they are both the problem. So obviously my spreadsheet is working wonders with the League on it now, but I'm here to show you today how to complete the Libertadores and Sudamericana using your coins for as cheap as possible. But first of all, before I do go on to the Libertadores and Sudamericana, I want to show you a little something about a little summit summit about the Bundesliga and Serie A. So, you're probably looking at this going, what on earth is this? Yeah, we've got silvers in there and we've got golds. Now, you can look at this and you could probably take a screenshot of this if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to see my face. There you go. There's a little smile if you wanted to, um, you know, screenshot it. Um, but as you can see, the ratings that we have used, we've used an 81, an 80 rated, Another 80 rated, and then we've used two low um, common golds and then lobbed in some silvers. Now, why have we done this? Right, I'm going to show you why. Because if you look here, we've bought him for 400 coins. What common can you get for 400 coins? Okay, you're probably going to be paying 500, especially for Bundesliga players. You're probably going to be paying 500 coins, maybe 600 coins. Um, if we just go into I don't know what the prices are right now, to be honest. But um, yeah, so obviously you can see there 500 coins for this guy alone. Yeah. Um, so you're going to be paying like 600 for him, 600 for him. So instead of using these common golds to obviously go and spend the extra 100 coins, why not limit yourself? Go and bid on these guys. And why are they all rare? Because there is a bug with the transfer market, which is absolutely shocking, by the way. So when we searched for Bundesliga silvers, it was saying 14 minutes to wait. So I put in Bundesliga silver commons and it was saying 14 minutes to wait. Then I put in Bundesliga silver rares and it said 30 seconds to wait with 330 bids. So I just put, I thought, you know what? These common golds are not that low. So I'm happy to go 400 coins and we was able to go and pick them up and um, a few others as well. Now, obviously, this is a great little tip for you guys because obviously you're saving yourself a little bit of coins because these guys are also at the lowest they have ever, they have ever been. Look, I'm just going to go and rebuy him again now for 650 coins. Um, and I'm going to go and rebuy this one. Let's have a look. 650 coins again. Okay. Um, you know, he's just, it's, it's madness. What about this guy? 650 coins again, you know. And I can literally go and redo this one for roughly around about 5,000 coins with obviously these um, silvers. But I would keep try to keep your silver stacked. So once you use them, try to get them back again as quick as possible. Because once you get rid of them, next Friday, as I keep saying to you guys, is Black Friday. And if you're needing silvers in that, obviously silvers from a big league like this could be worth a push to get these cards from 400 coins that you're buying them for above 1,000 coins, it's easy money, um, and it's entirely up to you whether to put them into here or put them on the transfer list and go and sell. Now, let's get to the Libertadores section. Let me go and send that, actually, because I can't even access that. So here we go, sent, 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 sent. Um, so getting out the way here. So what you want to do is you want to go on to Libertadores and Sudamericana, and you want to go and search for Libertadores. Where is it? Libertadores. Okay. Oh, no. This is so laggy, guys. Um, Libertadores. Okay. You want to put concept. And you can't actually do anything there. So what you want to do is you want to go and get Fernandez. You want to get Cavani. 
these two players, okay, are the most high. You could go Alejandro there as well. I'm not too sure on what his card is. Okay, yeah, completely fine. Um, and what you want to do is literally do this, right? Um, it's very, very simple. So I am going to go and put all of these cards in here. Um, I'm going to skip him. Actually, no, we'll put him in as well. We'll put him in as well. Um, okay, so what you want to tend to do is I know my cards that I want to go and pick up. But obviously, it's always nice to go and stock the club. So let me just go and put all of these players in that are from a different clubs. Because obviously, that's what we need. I don't want to use Boca Juniors or River Plate. Because there are two players that we 100% need. So the two players are the ones that I've already put in. Which are Cavani and one of the other ones. Whoever it is, I can't remember. Um, so let's go and put in these players. And I'll explain what I'm about to do. So who else we got here? Ramirez, Avalos. We've got Barbosa there. Uh, Pivoli, Arias or Aries or something. I don't know how you say his name, boys. Do apologise. Um, what else we got here? We got... Uh, oh, wait, we've already used him. Okay, I think that's it. So these are all the gold players for Suda Americana. Um, no, Libertadores, sorry. Libertadores. These are all the players for Libertadores. Now, as you can see, we've already got these players, so I can potentially run this again. But there are two players that you 100% need, and that is a 79 here and a 79 here. You can obviously get yourself a 78. That's why I've bought him. I'm going to put him into the club, and we can try that method as well a little bit later on. But for this video, we are going to look at the two 79 rated. Now, why do we need a 79 rating? Because if you look here in the description of what you need, you need a 74 rated team. So why not try and boost up that rating as much as possible? So when you go and buy the silvers, you don't have to go and spend on 74 ratings. You can go and buy yourself 68s, 69s, 67s. Okay, so what we're going to do, Cavani was about 1.3 earlier on. So let's just go and double check on his price right now. As you can see, he has gone up a little bit to 1.5. But what you can do, as it, what we're going to do with every other player, is you can go and bid on these players. So we're going to go and bid on him. We'll probably pay about 1.3 for him. Um, the same for Fernandez, but Fernandez you should be able to pick up for a lot cheaper because he's not um, as popular as Cavani there. Um, I'm going to go for a, a little cheeky 700. We will we will see. But in the meantime, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push him down here and just go replace him there. Don't really matter. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to go through every single one of these and try to bid on them to try and get them for as cheap as possible. So as you can see, this guy here um, at 600 coins, happy days. And we want to try and stock up as much as possible because once we go and complete it once, of course, we're going to go and complete it again. So instead of buying these other players, you've already got some in your club because there's so many different players. Um, so this is obviously a very, very good way of keeping your players in your club. Now, this guy here went up to about 1,200, so I don't think we're going to get him quite cheap. Um, I think the players that we've already got, we've got quite cheap. So, obviously, this guy as well, he's at 1.2 or something stupid. Yeah, look, he's got six minutes to go on that card. So, we're not going to bother with anybody that has got a long waiting time. Um, this one again, you know, six six fifty for whatever that was there. Um, here we go, 700 coins. Um, as you can see, 600 coins, but once again, he's at River Plate. We could stock up on him, but we're already using either that one or that one. You know, we're not bothered about a 76 rating, so let's get him out of there. Um, let's have a look here. This one, again, five minutes. You know what, we'll put, we'll put a little cheeky bid on him, 650. Next one, we are going to go for this guy, 650 here. Two minutes to wait on him. Um and the last one here. That is for the the actual main squad, of course. And we're not like I say, we're not going to use all of these players. Let me go and put a little cheeky seven hundred on him. We're only going to use probably about five of these. Um. Okay. On to this guy Ramirez. Did I did I put a bid on Ramirez? No, we didn't. Okay. Right. Six fifty. He's actually got a lower one than everybody else. Okay. Yep. We'll try this one. 650. Yeah, okay, sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, next one is Sigali. Obviously, it, you can skip this bit uh, a little bit in the video, guys, if you really want to. 
you know, um, all we're doing is bidding on these players. You know what we're doing. So just get to the next part, um, which we'll be talking about the silvers, I think. Um, so skip that guy and then this guy. Because we've already got the other ones. Um, okay, 600. There we go. So we've got, all, we've got all our bids on there. What we're going to do is we're going to go and get try and get these players for as cheap as possible. Um, let's go and see what we can actually get them at. As you can see, we've already lost out on four of them, I think. We've got a ton of cards here. See, he's up at 1.6, so yeah, remove him. Happy days. We're not bothered about him, right? He's up at 950, not bothered about him. Um, he's at 600 coins. Continue on going. I'll go up to 800. That's completely fine. Um, I do want to try and get them as cheap as possible. Probably 650 to 700 coins is um, a little nice go-to. Um, as you can see, we did get Alejandro there for 650 coins, but we do want Fernandez and Cavani. So we're going to go again for Fernandez. Um, let me have a look at his, his price here. So we'll go 700 there. Okay. Um, 800 coins. We'll, we'll try 800. I'm happy with 800, but that's the, that's the um, maximum that I'll go. Okay. Um, so we'll let him go there. Now, obviously, Cavani is the most expensive one, but it's fine overpaying a little bit for him um, because he's the one that we need the most. So what we're going to do is we, we'll probably get him for about 1.4, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. Um, if we can get him on a snipe, he is going to be your main player there. Let's try and get him on a snipe. So Cav Cavani. Um, no, let's try and get him on a little cheeky snipe. And let's see if we can get him. If not, then it, it, there's no problem. We'll go down to probably about 700 on the 700,000. Let's see. No, no, no. Okay. Can you get him on a snipe at 1,500? Because he did pop up before for 1,500. Probably not. It is early hours in the morning. So I say early hours in the morning. It's like 20 to 12 in the evening. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 900 coins. It's always when you don't expect anything to be popping up because you've been searching for a good two minutes there. Um, it probably was about a minute, but you get the point, boys. Um, if we can... Oh, we don't want them. If we can obviously get Cavani, great. So these are the two players that you want in your club. Let me... You know what? We will go and buy him for 1,500 if we can. Hopefully you don't get outbidded on him. Um, Fernandez. Once again, we've been outbidded on him there. I don't understand why people are actually bidding on him. So crazy. Okay. Well, I do know because he's obviously the highest rating, but you don't actually need him. Right. Let's just go and use... Um, I don't, why has it just kicked me out? This game. This game. Okay. Right. So what we're going to use is we are going to go and use Alejandro. Put him into the, the club there. As you can see, we had a, another Bundesliga player there. Um, put him in. We do have... Do, 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 do. So we have lost out on a few of these, as you can see here. This one went for 650 coins. So we will once again try to get him at 650. There's one there for 600. And even if it goes to... Ah, oh, there we go. Cavani, Cavani, Cavani. 1,500. Okay, Cavani in. And we'll just use what we've got in the club. I'm not really bothered about those cards right now. So let's go back to the SBC. And let's go to upgrades, premium list, and we're going to focus on this, okay? So as you can see, we've got him in there, we've got him in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also add in a few of these. Obviously, you do need different clubs, so we've got him in, um, we've got silver here in, and we will get in somebody else, maybe Barbosa, why not? Does Barbosa work? Barbosa doesn't work because we've got the goalkeeper there. We'll put in this guy here. Um, okay, yeah, that all looks good to me. That looks very good to me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to remove all these. If we need to put in another gold, boys, which we might have to, we can easily go and put this guy in. Uh, one of the uh, sorry, put Diaz in. You know what? We'll put Diaz in anyway. Why not? Um, and then obviously with this as well, you could also go and do it with the pseudo Medicanas as well. So pseudo Medicana and go here. And of course, go and use this guy. You could go and use this guy. 
replicate guy we use this guy and it do exactly the same thing i'm going to do it anyway just for the sake of the video um and where do we go here okay there 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 here here and here we're going to put him there we'll just just for the sake Okay, so we've got all of these. Okay, so we've already got a left wing back there anyway. Um, again, this guy could be very cheap. Obviously, seven minutes to go. I'm not going to bother. You, you could do. Of course, you could do. Um, seven minutes again. I'm not going to bother. This guy. This guy is 800, uh, 800. Eight minutes. Okay, not going to bother. And with this guy, nine minutes. I'm not going to bother. You should you should be waiting this long in the day. The day should be a lot more a lot quicker, should I say? Um, we did go and pick this guy up earlier on for quite cheap. Now he looks like he's uh, gone up again. It's the time. It's the time limit. That's the problem here. But it doesn't help with the time that I'm doing the video, you know, because half of Europe are sleeping. Um, okay, yeah. So you know these these players are not actually you know actually uh, selling um very very quickly so we will um obviously fade away from those for now but I, again you can go and bid on them and store them into your club and whenever you go to do the sbc happy days go and chuck them in um this guy here you know he is going for about one thousand coins i am going to go and keep him because we don't need to use him so you can see that we've got a small little squad there let me go and remove this guy we've got a small squad there of um Liberty Doris, and now we need to go and fill it in with silvers so what ratings do we need to go and use now i always like to go and use the pseudo medicanas because they are always the cheapest so i'm going to just scroll down a little bit and i'm just going to show you the ratings that we could potentially use now that we've got these cards in okay so all we'll probably need here is maybe 60 68 ratings maybe 69s um, and i'm hoping that you can see exactly what i'm about to do on this video that we were doing earlier on the stream because um i got this feeling now because those players that we've just witnessed you know not selling quite quickly um i got a feeling that once again it's going to be hard so as you can see 68 and we probably will be able to um maybe even save ourselves. Let, let me let me see if i can get another 78 in there and save ourselves another gold because like a lot of people said, the golds are the most precious ones here, um, as they do give a lot of the ratings. So let me see if I can get another 78 in here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. You know what? Yeah, okay. We will do this. We will we'll choose a few ratings. So we'll go 69. And all we're looking for is rating right now. We're not really bothered about the cards that we're actually putting in. It's just to find out what type of um, cards we can put in here so what rating cards um should we do a 71 as well let's try 171 okay because we can get all these cards earlier on we could have um very cheap so as you can see that does it drop the rating let me see here 71 okay so 71 does work so we can save him as well and put in a 71 now you can obviously go and use lower rated cards and use this card if you wanted to but again this card is very precious um you might be able to pick them up for 600 coins but you might not be able to now what are we going to do okay we are going to go onto the web app now and i am going to go and bid on cards that are 68 rated and above um that is going to potentially be able to go in here obviously they all have to be different clubs um to go into this one so me putting in those clubs that was random and it's worked right there's so many libertadores teams so many pseudo medicanas so it shouldn't be a problem but let's head over onto the web app and let's go and buy some players so here we go guys on the web app and as you can see here we did manage to go and pick up a racing club player um for 600 coins so that is a massive w now we are going to go and head over onto the transfer list and we are going to search for specific players so on here you can actually search for gold silver and bronze now this is the best method okay this is the best method by far now you can either go by pseudo americana or you can go by libertadores like i said 
my way to go is the Sudamericana. And what I am going to do is I am going to search for rares because of what I said earlier on in the video about the Bundesliga. I am going to go and search for silver. No, actually, no, no, no. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> hey, we're not all perfect. So silver, Sudamericana, and we are going to search for 400 coins. Now, if we look here, you can see the ratings. OK, now what I'm going to quickly um, do is there is a little tool up here um, called Pale Tools. I'm literally going to click that and we are going to use this. Now, I will show you why I'm going to use this. Now, I don't usually promote this sort of stuff, but the reason why I'm going to do this is because I don't want to rebuy players that I've already got in my club um, right now for the sake of the video. So through this, you're able to see what players you have actually got in your club. So if you look here, this one is blurred out or blacked out. So when it's blacked out, it means that you've already got them in your club. Anyone that isn't blacked out means you don't have them. But as you can see, I can literally get these cards for very, very cheap. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bid on all of these, um, all of these pseudo metacarners. Doesn't matter if they are the same club or not. I'm going to go and bid on them so my club gets stacked. And then when it gets stacked, I can easily just go and pop them into the SBC by sorting out different clubs eventually. So as you can see, um, we're scrolling through here. There's another one there. 200 coins. OK, right. We'll go for a 250. Um, next, we've got a 70 down here. Let's come. We get a little cheeky 200. We can't. Can we get a little cheeky 250? We can't. It's booked. Right. This is booked. So what we've got to do is we've got to go and do a little cheeky refresh. OK, so back again, guys, what you want to do is choose silver. You want to go and hit the Sudamericana or Libertadores. For us, it's Sudamericana. We'll put this up 400 just so it's in a nice position there. And we are looking for 68 rated players. Um, remember, we do need to get ourselves a 71 rated. But if we can push a few 70 rated, then we should be all good to go, to be honest. Um there's a 150 there. Hopefully we get him. And you're not waiting long. It says one minute. So we're, we're all good here. Um, I think I do think we'll get outbidded on 150s. I don't think we can get them that cheap. But you never know. You never know. Um, he's at 450 there. Mm. you got to be careful though, guys. You do have to be careful with it. Because, you know, sometimes if you've got it set at a certain price, the minimum, you know, could be pushed up as well. As you can see there, 400 coins. I'm not really too bothered. But we want to try and get them as cheap as possible. So... Get these bids on the players. And then, you know, we only need five. So this shouldn't take too long. You know, we've got that Riveras or Veras up the top there. And this guy again, 250. And if we go again, and we did pick up a few 64s, uh, 74s earlier on by doing this. Um, this is obviously one of the best methods, as I said. 350 here, we're happy with that. Uh, 350 there, we're, okay, it's broke, it's broke. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. And as you can see, we want to quickly get the bit. Oh, we cannot because it's broke again, right? Give me two seconds. Okay, guys, so we managed to get onto it and we managed to get ourselves um, a few more bids chucking on there, as you can see here. Um, hopefully, it's not going to freeze again because that was a, a most important time for us to try and get, obviously, these cards for the cheapest as possible. As you can see, we actually got this 69 raid for 150 coins. And this is why it's so easy. It hasn't taken me that long. And, you know, these players are a nice little a nice little value. But, of course, you know, some of them are the same. Um, but let's go and see how many of them are different. So we've got Garcia, we've got Sosa, we've got Silva, we've got Marungo. Obviously, we've got Marungo a few times there. Uh, we've got Esquivu, or I don't even know how you say these names, Godoy, Believer. But how many are from a different team? So one, two, three, four. five i think they're all different right they're all different so all we're going to do is go and send them to the club whatever we've got here send them all into the club and we're going to head over onto the sbc and all we need to do is go and put them in okay go and put them in so first we want to remove these remove from squad remove from squad remove from squad and obviously you can go and do this on um onto the console if you really want to but this is how easy and cheap you can get it guys um it's really not that hard so what we're going to do is we're going to go on to most recent and we are going to start to pop them in i think we've already got the chemistry for this because the chemistry is so cheap it's it's crazy 
Um, the only problem with doing it on the web app um, is that <laughs> is that you have to just keep going off and going back on again. It's very frustrating. So let me go and pop these in here like this. I do think, oh no, they might be on the, they could be on the bench actually. I don't think they are. We're missing a few players there. We're missing a few players. Let me go back and then we go on to the transfer list. Uh, nope, not transfer list. Go on to the transfer targets. I'm confused to what players because we literally had six players there. You know what? We'll go and bid on a few more, guys. We'll go and bid on a few more. Um, so we'll go Suda Americana. Where are you? Suda Americana. And once again, 400 coins. And we are looking for the higher rated ones. So where are they? 70 rated here. Thank you very much. There is a 71 rated. Where was that? I've seen it. There it is. For 300 coins. There is a 69 rated up here. We'll take him. Thank you very much. Anything else? We've got 74 here. Right, let's see if we can get... We, we can jump on him. He'll boost up that um, rating massively. Um, and then we could probably go and use um, lower rated players if we really wanted to. That will do for now. Let me go onto the transfer targets. Let's watch a few of these. So he's got to put 550. I'm not bothered about him. See you later. Get out of there. Um, this 74, we'll, we'll probably push up to about um, maybe 400 for him. Someone bids at 350. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully we get him for that. Um, I'm not bothered about this guy. Get rid of him. Okay. Hopefully we can get him for 400. Oh, no, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. We have um, we have got him before. Picked him up before. You know what? 500 max. 500 max for 74 rated. We got this one for 150. So I'm calm. I'm calm. No, 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 no. You're right. You're gone, bro. You're gone. To be fair, it's still lower rated than... I. Uh, so it's lower priced than the... Some of the, some of the other ones, um, like the golds and stuff. So let's go and put him into the club. That's one player. Hopefully we get this guy. We have. Hopefully he's not he's not um dupe. He's not right. Let's try it now, boys. Let's try it now. Uh, favorites, premium mixed, limited oil, pseudo Americana, add player, most recent. Let's see. They're not popping up. Where are they? Where are, I've literally just added them to the club. Right, let me go and refresh and we'll come back. Right, guys, so let's see if they are here. It's the moment of the truth. It's the moment of truth. Let's see. They're all there. They are all there. It was glitched all that time. Anyway, so we've got these players now. We've stocked them into the club. Great. Right, we already had them. Annoying. Another little glitch that is in the game. Pathetic EA. Sort it out. Sort it out, mate. Oh, my God. You're seeing it all on this YouTube channel, guys. And that is a reason why you should be hitting that subscribe button if you're not already. Um, let's go and put in Sosa in here as well. Right, that does it. Look, 77 rate, uh, 77 out of 7. We've ticked everything and we've gone and spent pennies. 600 for this guy. You might not be able to see him, um, but he's 600 coins. You know what? I'm going to go on to the console and I'll go and show you on there. Okay, so as you can see, guys, this guy here, 600 coins. 300 coins you know what let's add a little calculator onto my phone unfortunately i can't show it on the screen um so we've got what was it again 600 plus 300 plus 300 plus 250 plus 250 plus 650 plus 150 plus 600 plus 400 plus 1500 plus this guy who's first owner but if it was another player that we're trying to pick up for which i said 700 you know even 800 let's just push it boundaries and let's go 800 coins um that is going to be a total i don't know if you can see this number but it is going to cost you about 5800 coins let me go a big screen there we go 5800 coins there we go lovely right that is how you do the libertadores and pseudo medicana for as cheap as possible using your coins from scratch guys um of course if my views on this video is going to be banging well banging for me um 
like they have been on the previous videos, then I would jump on this pretty quick because I feel like if there's 4,000 people doing this, you're not going to be able to get them cheap. So, of course, if you're watching the video a little bit later, then unfortunately, um, it might have slowed down a bit and you might find it a bit difficult to go and complete this. But if that's the case, we'll bring out another video for you guys because we want to try and get you guys to do these SBCs as cheap as possible and to try and get the best players on the game for as cheap as possible. Simple as that. Methods, methods and more methods. But guys, I'm going to talk a little bit just for the end of the video. I know it's another long video, but I just want to talk a little bit about this league SBC. Right. There's been so many people saying that these SBCs are absolutely amazing. You know, we're buzzing with them, this and the other. I'm going to give you an unpopular um, opinion now, which I spoke about. On Twitter or I put on Twitter. I've also mentioned it once into my Discord. And um, yeah, I just want I just want to tell you guys what I think about the, these SBCs. Now, I actually don't think that these SBCs are that good. Now, my reasoning behind it is because I actually have um, a list of. A list of the mixed league upgrades and a list of the premium mixed league upgrades. And I also have the old ones on my phone. We used to love the SBCs back in the day, right? When they used to have all the clubs and this, that and the other. And we was proper buzzing about it because we was able to make money. You know, the packs were great. You know, there was so many packs, especially when there was like 18 teams in the Premier League. You know, you're getting 18 different packs, whether that's whether that's silver packs or not. You were still able to go and get packs and you were able to craft and craft and craft. It was great. Now you're only getting four packs and yeah, or five packs per turn of this. To me, it doesn't really bother me that much that you get five. You know, it's still a grind. It's still a bit of fun, right? But last year, they were giving out, and let me just get it up on my phone, just so I can, just so I can see this. So for the mixed league, uh, where is the mixed league? There we go. So for the mixed league, they was giving you back a total of thirty players. Um, this year, they are also giving back a total of thirty players. Now, how many players are you actually putting into uh, into the mixed league? Right, you're putting in 44 players because 11, 11, 11, 11, simple. But you're only getting back 30 players, so each time you're losing 14 players. Yeah, you do also get yourself, um, obviously, trade balls in this, so you're not actually keeping all 30 players as well, which is a problem. Now, they did update this further into the year, they literally removed it because obviously time ran out, which it's going to do in 36 days for us. And they re-released it. And when they re-released it, you was able to get yourself 42 players. Now, I'm all, about, I'm all about the consistency and I'm all about the efficiency. And being able to repeat it over and over and over again. If you are losing 14 players or whatever it is, every single time you complete this, your club is just going to go down and down and down and down. And eventually you're not going to have any players left in your club. And that is kind of what, like, why I'm trying to buy these players. But at the same time, when I buy, I'm not actually getting the money's worth back in the sense of um, the coin value. I'm getting the coin value back because I'm packing players that are adding up to these prices that I'm paying. But I'm not getting no coinage back. So my coin's going down um, or my player total is going down. Yeah. Um, and I'm not liking that. So last year, when they updated, they released the new SBCs and you could get 42 players, which was a loss of two players. I'm not bothered about that, right? Two players is completely fine, but 14 is a joke, right? Now, let's move on to the premium mixed. The premium mix right now is paying out 40, um, 42 players, right? It's paying out 42 players. That is a lot better, right? That is a lot better. Um, let's have a look here. Last year, it paid out, I think they paid out 43 players. So again, the, the premium one isn't too bad. But once again, you've got 12 tradable players and you're going to go and sell them. Um, I just I just want I just want all my players back in my club. And the reason why I noticed this little error here was because I checked my club and I was over 5000 players. Now, I want to stay above 5000 players. But every time I complete these SBCs, I do put in a few of my own players and then go and buy the rest, which I have mentioned on previous videos. And when I do this. 
I'm constantly seeing my coin and my um, my players drop. Now I am saving packs, but I am opening up all of the mixed league upgrade. So when I'm completing the mixed league upgrade, I want to obviously. <laughs> I want to go and open up all these packs and then whatever I'm packing from there, I want to go and put into here. But I should be able to do that with seeing my, my total of my players in my club stay the same or rise. Like it's, it's just annoying seeing my players go down. And like I said, eventually they're going to be down to zero. My coins will be down to zero because I'm going to buy the play. Yeah, it's it swings and roundabouts. And um, I just wanted to express that with you guys. Um, it's only a small owl, but it's just something that EA could again um, think about and, yeah, update it, update it and, you know, give us what we want. You know, losing 14 players on the mixed league, and this is the one that we're trying to craft the most of because obviously our bronzes and stuff like that, it, you know, it's kind of destroying it a little bit, but we're finding ways around it. I suppose we could turn it into a positive. We're finding ways around it and hopefully things will come our way. Now, like I said, I'm not opening up any of the premium mixed league upgrade players. Uh, sorry, packs, because obviously we're storing for team of the year. So that is literally what I'm doing. I'm opening up all of my mixed leagues that we're completing, getting all the players and then putting them into the premium. The premiums we will save. Um, and as you can see, we are currently up to 279 as this total of the video. Um, 279 packs currently. So, you know, we're grinding. We're getting there and we want to at least get over a thousand packs by team of the year. Um, you know, there's other people out there like Matt Foot Trader who absolutely smashes it every year. I did want to try and get on his level with the numbers of packs, to be honest. But the way that the game's playing, I literally said to my community, you know what, guys? I just, I haven't got it in me. I haven't got it in me to grind that hard when the game is this, you know, down bad. And um, the only reason why I'm still going is for you guys. So um, I hope you guys appreciate it as always. Um, I know you do. And I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you're still here, you're absolute legends. Um, all the support that you've given me on Twitter, joining the Discord, um, coming over onto Twitch, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. And that is the end of this video. Hopefully it's helped you. Um, you know what to go and do. All the links are down in the description below. Um, make sure you go and drop a comment. Let me know if this video has helped you. Let me know how you're getting on with the grind so far. You know, anything you want to speak about, let me know in the comments down below. My DMs are always open if you've got any questions as well, if you don't want to comment down below. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure you hit that like button if you have enjoyed the video and smash that subscribe button because we are going to be uploading a lot more methods, a lot more BPM, and again, a new series coming soon. Peace.